Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Grandia on the Sony PlayStation. Last time, we made our way through the Llama Mountains there, which didn't really have any llamas, but it had a lot of uh, bridges over the mountains, which was pretty cool. Um, today, we're going to go ahead and head to Gumbo Village in hope of getting some gumbo soup or stew or whatever it's referred to. And I can kind of see our next destination off to the uh, left there, whatever that little village is. Uh, I'm assuming they're going to make us go to that volcano at some point, too, which would actually be pretty cool and it, it would actually it would actually also make me wish to have like a acid rain spell of our own or you know like a typhoon spell you know something that would wash away the lava but oh well yeah we have a earth defense and earth attack but we don't have any water attack unless you count ice which i kind of do but not really This is the village of Gumbo. First, we must find a boatman. We have to go to Twin Towers by sea. From a white beach in paradise, a boat ride into an emerald sea, a fine tropical breeze. Woo! Er. Hey, it's cold. Didn't you say it's a warm village? And it's so quiet, I don't hear any festival sounds. The sound of waves is all I hear. Yeah, I don't, this isn't quite what I imagined from what you told me. Hmm, this is strange. The old Gumbo had an entirely different atm atmosphere. That bracing salt air is certainly that of Gumbo. It's a fishing village, but much different than night. Really? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Chew. It's awful cold, isn't it? Let's hurry and go into the village. Come on, let's go. We have to find a boatman who will take us to the Twin Towers. Well, I care less about it being cold and more about it being freaking huge. And yeah, it's going to take a while to explore. So let's just uh, start. Uh, okay, apparently this house you can't go into. Oh, the tool shed. Um, okay, maybe we'll find like... A mountain hoe or something like that, or a rake or something. Or it could be the uh, shop. Okay. Nod, nod. Hey, wake up. I have business for you. Actually, I don't want to sell anything just yet. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and sell the vaccines and stuff. Uh, I'll keep the panacea, but we have... We have uh, Halva, which cures all status ailments for everybody, so I'm not really too worried about it. Same thing with the Mer- uh, No, that's not the one I need. Um, Silence Orb, I don't care about that. Yellow Orb, I'll, I'll keep that. Hail Bow. I'm going to sell that. I can find. I can probably find a better bow. I'll hold on to it for just a minute just to check, but I'm going to probably end up selling that. The Ice Stone, I'm going to keep that. I might not ever get around to using the damn thing, but I will keep it. All right, what do we got here? We got items. Metal frog, plus three magic move block resistance. Okay, I'm not sure why a frog has to do that, but okay. Spectacle, plus two crit resist. Raincoat, prevents falling asleep. Okay. Uh, coconut, restores 80 HP to one friend. Holy fire, 30 HP range attack, good on ghosts. Blizzard scroll. Gale scroll. And lightning scroll, okay. So nothing I really care about here except for maybe some of these accessories, but at the same time, I'm not sure how crucial they're going to be. Uh, let's see. Let's ignore the spells. Let's check out the weapons first, see if how expensive everything here is. I'm, I'm assuming that's uh, Azure Knife, right? Slightly more powerful than what she's got, and it has Water Attribute. Let's go ahead and take that. That way, we have a water elemental attack, which will be nice. And we also have wind elemental attacks on Fina as well. The knife and the whip that she has. Rain staff. Ooh, snooze. Okay, is that supposed to be... Maybe when it said attribute runner or whatever, it just meant that it had a a wind attack or something like that, and the runner was its way of designating it. Because this one says snooze. So I, I... Okay, that's 
That might be attack though, so it might actually be able to cast attack or snooze. Um, I'm not gonna buy that though. I we we can cast snooze all we want with all three of our characters. I have water, I'm pretty sure, and we'll see what the armor's like. And if there's anything left over, we'll buy it from there. Armor. What do we got? Dragon vest. Fourteen different. 14 defense, 2 anti-fire level. That's not too shabby. Uh, it appears to be slightly worse than what we have by about a point. Uh, not too bad, though. Frog shirt, plus 1 anti-water level. MG shield. Returns normal attacks. I don't know what that means, but you know what? I'll take it. See, they're kind of expensive though, 8,000 each. Mock boots, plus 5 defense, plus 30 move. Uh, that looks like, okay, that looks like it would get rid of, let's see, about 18 move per person. But really, I think move isn't really all that bad so far. Like, our moves have been ridiculously high the entire game. I don't think we've ever ran into a problem with not being able to reach the enemy. So I don't mind giving up, I think. I don't think I'm going to mind giving up a little bit of move for a pretty good chunk of defense. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. That should be fine right there. Stonehead. Nine defense. Don't fall off attack. Ooh, I like that because enemies do have the, the uh, dastardliness of making you get knocked over. And apparently you can't equip it. Yeah, the ladies can't equip it. It's like, looks like it's mainly for the dudes. Okay, Justin. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to give it to Gadwin or not. Because that would actually lose some defense. And... Nah, okay. He's, he's fine. He's. He, I think he'll take the extra defense out of it. Okay, Magic Shield. I'm going to buy these. So that'd be a six. That'll be 32,000 gold, though. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, hang on. Let me look at some other stuff here. Uh, plus two. Okay, that'll be 12,000 right there for... Try to, try to decide. Should I just buy it for the two that it's an upgrade for? Yeah, let's just buy the buy it for the two that's that is an upgrade for. So Sue gets it, and Gadwin gets it. The other two they'll have to deal without. Frog shirt, we'll just leave that there, and then thirty-two thousand. Okay, yeah, let's just uh, buy everyone the the shield there, because if that actually <coughs> excuse me, if that actually does. Make it so that regular enemy attacks are harder to hit. That'd actually be really nice. Plus, it gives nice defense there. So, ooh, look at that. We're broke. Okay, let's uh, sell some of our stuff here because I kind of have a lot of money to recuperate here. Here, uh, let's see. Let's start from the bottom here. Gauntlets, armor. Here to that. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep these or not. Because, yeah, like, it is a decent chunk of a uh, move. But at the same time, I don't know how... How great it'll actually be. Uh, let's see, we got 6,000 back. Actually, like 4,000, but whatever. Um, do I have any other food that I can get rid of? I don't think so. Okay, we'll just hold on to the rest of this stuff and put it away. Um, yeah, the accessories are going to have to wait. But we got a pretty good chunk of upgrades there. Mainly, mainly armor-wise, which is nice. Alright, so let's go find our next target of infiltration here. Guest house, that's the end. Okay, cool. I'm assuming it's the end. If it's not, well, I'll be mildly 
confused. Alright, let's put all of our move boots away for the time being. I still don't have to hold on to that still. Uh, let's see. A sneaker. I'm going to hold on to the SP stuff. The Dragon, the Dragon X. I'm going to put that away for now since I don't think we actually need it. But it will be useful for later, I'm hoping. Alright, now let's see if there's anything we can get from here to sell. I think we might have like some various... Okay, let's get rid of the Crimson Potion. Yeah, let's get rid of the Crimson Potions. Uh, smelling Salts, we don't need those. Paralysis Ointment, we don't need those. Spell Break, we don't need that. Resurrection Potion, uh, I'm gonna sell a couple of those. Yeah, like five of them, that should be fine. Uh, let's see, what else? Blue Pill, I'm definitely keeping that. First Aid, we don't need that. Let's see... Silence Orb, we should be fine selling that. I don't think we're going to need the flint knife anymore since we have several upgrades for it. Uh, we still can't sell the old stuff there. Uh, Holy Mace, I'm going to go ahead and sell that. Dragon Axe will hold on to that. Plus 15 action. Action is... Let me check here. Oh yeah, it's the uh, IP speed. But... I don't think we're gonna actually need that, so you know, let's go ahead and sell it. Uh, hero badge, plus two action. I don't know if we can sell that or not. I'll hold on to that. Uh, amulet, that's Sue's beginning thing. Tree amulet. Oh, we do have another one of those. Let's take that and give that to Gadwin instead of the attack that he has. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, let's get rid of the light amulet. And the paralysis charm. Okay, we'll go sell all this stuff. Uh, do you have anything to... You're young, you get so daring. Well, anyway, would you like to stay the night? Uh, not right now. What else we got in here? Anything? Frog statue? What's this? This frog is such a funny look. <laughs> look who's talking. Oh, Fina. You're so heartless and cruel, and I think Justin loves it. I think Justin is uh, happy to have someone to pick on him besides Sue. We should be able to recuperate a couple of our losses from the spending fiasco there. I don't think we're going to actually need to buy it to anything else, though, so we should be reasonably fine. Alright, let's go ahead and start with Paralysis, Light, Officers, Holy Mace, let's see, Flint, Silence, Resurrection, 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 yeah, I think these Resurrection Potions are selling for a pretty decent amount, aren't they? Uh... I sold them all too fast, and I wasn't paying attention. Crimson Potion, that sells for a good chunk right there. Uh, let's see, Smelling Salts, Smelling Salts, Paralysis, Spell Break, First Aid, First Aid. Do I really care about this Oracle Staff since I have, like, the Fire Rod and stuff? I don't think I do, actually. Yeah, okay, that's gone. Um... Uh, Okay, that should be fine. Let's go ahead and give Gadwin the tree amulet there. Yeah, he loses a little bit of attack power, but I think he's fine since he's like 30 points higher than anyone else. How much does that sell for? Only a thousand? Okay, well, we'll keep that for now. All right, let's go ahead and look around for people that will silently talk to us, and then see if we can't figure out how to find a boat. Alright, so this is where we started. Okay, let's go ahead and start over... I was going to say over here, but that's obviously not as effective as I thought. Hey, everybody here does have tails. I was looking at that, and I 
thought so. Excuse me, you there in the swimsuit. You know a boatman and strong arms? Or with strong arms? We want to go to the Twin Towers. Yeah? Eek! What is it with you? Don't get any closer. Huh? What's wrong with her? Why does she suddenly run away like that? Knowing you, Justin, you probably offended her. No, I didn't. What are you saying, Sue? Would I do something like that? Haha, <laughs> what, what are you so touchy about? But it was a bit strange. Look, there are people over there, too. Let's ask them about a boatman. Yeah, she kind of just, uh, ran away. Everyone here has tails. Uh, yeah, I'm not a messenger. Sorry, bud. Extol the frogs. I think I think extol means praise, right? I have nothing to do with frogs. I mean, yeah, they're cool for the most part, but, uh... I've eaten frog legs, so isn't that like blasphemy in this town since all the frogs are apparently sacred for whatever reason? I like to think that me and Fina are a couple, but she might not be at that stage yet. Telling love fortunes, huh? Uh, sure, why not? I see it. Mm. Ribbity, ribbity, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Uh... That was the worst fortune ever. Suffering is where this love is headed. Uh, that doesn't sound too splendid for me, but... It, it's like when I read the Percy Jackson books. Um, and... In case you don't know, the Percy Jackson books are... A kid finds out that he is descended from a Greek god. And there's a bunch of other uh, kids descended from Greek gods. And they're called demigods. Because, you know, they have one human parent, one god parent, or whatever. And so the main character uh, meets up with Aphrodite at some point. She's like, oh, I like you. I'm going to make your love life nice and complicated. He's like, uh, that's okay. You don't have to. And she's like, no, no, it's okay. I'm going to make it nice and complicated for you. And he's like, uh, but I don't want it complicated. So not everyone wants a complicated relationship. They just want, you know, an easy relationship. Excuse me. We're looking for a boatman to take us to the Twin Towers. Huh? Ah, it's an attractive girl. What? No, no, no. Oh, oh, no, not a girl. You're a boy. That's right. A boy. A boy, I say. Ha, 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 What was that about? <laughs> hey, Fina, I think you mistook me for a boy. Yikes. You'd have to be blind to mistake Fina, or her sister for that matter, as a boy, because they're both really hot. Don't worry about it, Fina. From the moment I met you, I knew you were a woman. Hey, that's rude, both of you. That's totally uncalled for. Well, I don't understand what's, what it is, but something funny's going on. Whatever it is, this is very strange. Anyway, it doesn't seem likely that we'll get a boat to the Twin Towers. Yeah, it might actually be harder than it looks like to get a boat around here. A hot spring trip? That'd actually be, that be kind of cool. Or kind of hot. You know, what I'm trying to say. Okay, Justin is not that much younger than Fina, like, at all. Fina? Okay, if I had to guess, like, age-wise, I'd say Justin is, like, Justin is, like, 14 or 15, maybe. Sue is, like, 12. Fina might be 16 or 17 at the latest. Gadwin would obviously be, like, 30 or something, but, uh, yeah, it's not that big of an age difference between Fina and Justin, really. Like, if anything, it's, like, a year or two. What do you call a man with a seagull on his head? Cliff. <laughs> uh, oh, brother. That's great. I guess bad jokes are a part of everyone's culture. Hey, the bad jokes are the best jokes. What do you call a man who's sick? Chuck. Get it? Not you, too. I've got to use that one sometime. Fina, you're a good person. You do that, buddy. I like you. You're, you're the best guy here so far. Two, man. I feel dizzy. Everyone is uh, very odd about everything here. Hey, nothing wrong with being covered in mud when you're a kid. That means you're having a good time. You shouldn't have talked... Okay, is everyone afraid of the opposite sex? Is that what's happening here? Does the frog god forbid, like... Co-ed relationships? It's 
kind of weird, but okay. okay. I can't talk to that guy over the thing. Huh? Strange how this frog statue is so small. Ooh, it really is small and cute. Must be a baby frog. Okay, before we get too far and I forget to go into these places. Okay, we can't go in there, actually. Never mind. I was going to say try to go into these houses before I forget, but I didn't see what this said. It might, just, it might have just said house. Okay, house two. What do you got, bud? A living dictionary. Um, uh, tell it to me. There was a story that long ago a man and woman did something evil. For that reason, Gumbo became a lonely village with no happy couples. Even the spirits hated that Gumbo and that they would not come near. Then the brave couple appeared. One day, not fearing the past, the two became a couple. The people of Gumbo offered the village for them and celebrated a festival. It was a joyous festival of song and dance that enticed the spirits. The festival would go on forever. After that, the couple invited the blessing of the spirits, and the festival would be uninterrupted. There, did you know about that? This gumbo was warm all year, and men and women were happy. What? That was totally different. It's not warm, and the men and women are not getting along at all. Originally, gumbo was just like paradise. There's a reason it became like this. You gonna tell me about that, or what? I like how this guy has, like, a little... Uh... I think it's like a p pavilion, I think they're called, or... I forget what these things are called, but, uh... You know, they have, like, people carrying the the front poles and the back poles. It's like four people to carry one person, or two really strong people to carry one person. And it's kind of a... Actually, it was not used in, like, uh, ancient times for, like, kings and stuff. So that guy must think he's really important or something. Okay, so that's where we went in... What's over here? Dining hall. Okay, let's check that out. I want some gumbo. Oh, what a surprise. I haven't seen a customer for a long time. Yeah, there are no customers in here. Perhaps you're not so popular? No, the Gourmet Frog Restaurant is a favorite dating spot for couples. We used to have them waiting in line. Ah, uh, so... How recent was this no couples ban? And can Fina and I get a table? I mean, we're not a couple, but, you know, I mean, Justin can dream, can't he? Uh, how do, okay, I was going to say, how do I get out of here, but... No, seriously, how do I get out of here? Oh. I was trying to go out the window. Oops. Probably not the best spot. Hang on one second, I need something to drink. I think we've explored maybe not all of this place, but I think the places that matter, you know, the item shop and such. A matador of love. I face you like the bull. Uh, I'm already spoken for, lady. Okay, if they're not allowed to have couples, how, how are there... A fair amount of kids running around. Like, I've seen, like, at least a couple. Like, three or four of them. Okay, this might be the way forward. So, let me go back down here real fast. And we already went over here. I'm not sure if we went all the way over here, though. House four. What is this? This is Chief's house. Okay, that's the way forward, then. Fair enough. Ah, so the hot springs are dried up or something. Okay, I got it, I got it. Oh, what do I do? I know it's useless being here, but... <sighs> What's wrong? Look like you've hit rock bottom. Hit bottom? That's terrible. But I guess you're right. Wow. You've got some big ears there, fella. Oh my, I made it worse. There's a really cute girl in this house named Nana. Oh, a cute girl? Justin. But I have to give up on her. Okay, the whole no dating until the frog god says so is kind of eh. I already talked to you. You know, most people would be happy to have a hot chick like Fina talking to him. I would. Oh, this guy knows Gedwin. 
Sure, we'll stick around for a little bit. How is it your fault that the hot springs stopped? You are mean to the frogs. I don't think the frogs are really too connected with the big guy upstairs. So I don't think you being mean to him was actually the cause for the froggy destruction there. But okay, feel free to think that yourself, I guess. Eh, poor Fina. It's a, it's a curse being a beautiful girl, I guess. Uh, actually, is that the way forward? I don't know. I don't want to, like, advance out of the village too soon. Den does not here today. He must be hanging around the chief's house again. Oh, that must be the guy that likes, uh... He must be the guy that likes, uh, the girls. Uh, the girl. It has to be that guy with the portrait, because, you know, he has a name. And a portrait. Can I go to the Twin Towers? They're pretty ridiculous. The rocks have smashed my boast a bit. It's not impossible, but dangerous. Donda is the only guy in this village who has the road to the Twin Towers. Okay, I'm assuming that guy is going to be Donda, the guy with the uh, portrait there. You better not go that way. It's surrounded by mountains will belch out poison gas. Okay. Oh, spirits, it's me, Taylor. Please, please grant my wish. I beg that today, for one day, I will meet no man in this village. In particular, I beg that I don't meet, no, not meet Tom Tom, because I want, no, don't want to see him. Let me forget Tom Tom. Uh, yeah, you've already met the man, so sorry, spirits are not answering your prayers today. No inspiration. Oh, I wouldn't rush into fire for damn near anything. It hurts. <laughs> He's only 20. Okay, so we gotta go find that, uh, that Dando guy. And like I said, I'm pretty sure that's the guy hanging out by the chief's house. What do we got over here? Oh, like he was actually going to have a conversation with Sue, but then the frog god thing kind of got in the way. Eh, if he, er, Sue's cute for like a little kid, but she's not like cute for like an octopus, <laughs> like, like Fina or whatever. Eh, Sue's grown on me since the beginning of the game. I didn't care for her that much at the beginning, but she's okay. Okay, greeting tent. This town is, like, huge. Ooh. Whoa, don't yell out all of a sudden. Ooh, ooh, wah, wah. I still can't forget. I still like Taylor. Okay, you still have feelings. You're not a complete cold fish at this point. Oh, uh, you're a drama queen. Okay. Well, hey, at least you got some. What about you, Grandma? Actually, you don't look that young at, or that old at all, really. Well, I'd like to say I'm with uh, Fina, but I don't think she's willing to admit it just yet. But Fina does care about Justin. I mean, otherwise she wouldn't have damn near cried when she thought Justin died. So, uh, is there anything going on in this particular area here? No. It's a greeting hut, but it's not really anything to greet me in here. That was the greeting hut, right? Yeah, okay, greeting tent. Uh, is there anything on this side? No. These must be like torches or something, because they're not signs like I thought they were initially. Yes, we're from outside, and we're not a couple yet. Uh, they could just be friends. What about you, kid with the tail? Something flies all around them in the air when you become a couple. Uh, are you talking about like little hearts or whatever? I have no idea what he's talking about, like, flying around in the air, because, well, I don't think I've ever encountered that too much. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and... Let's see, this is the... 
chief's house right here. So we're going to save that for next episode and see if we can't talk to somebody to get us a dang boat to get wherever it is we got to go. So guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.